الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على شرف الأنبياء والمرسلين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته as it is in your knowledge due to the coronavirus problem the university has decided that there will be no classroom lectures but all the teachings are shifted to the online teaching though I have covered already chapter number 10 in the class lectures but I will make the series this series of lectures which is based on chapter 10 of the programmable logic controller textbook uh, and hopefully uh, you will understand the lecture if you have any question you can uh, ask me on the Moodle and if you have some comments related to this again I will come back to you as soon as possible thank you very much so in this chapter fundamentally we will be discussing the data manipulation instructions mainly so so the data manipulations in section 10.2 fundamentally in this complete chapter and lecture series uh, we will be discussing the data manipulation instruction that operate on word data and those that operate on the file data which involve multiple words so data manipulation involves transferring data and operating on the data with the math function data conversion data comparison and logical operation these instructions are very similar to the uh, microcomputer instruction the PLCs use internal instructions to do this type of manipulations we will discuss several processes uh, which need such operations uh, which are fast and continuous so data manipulation instruction perform operations on the numerical data stored in the controllers memory within the control program so these there are two main type of uh, manipulation instructions the instructions which works only on a one word this means one complete data whatever available inside one word or one register these instruction will do uh, operations on the data on the register itself this means one word which is 16 bit uh, those operation will be uh, doing their operation on these uh, but the other instructions which can handle the complete data file together so these instruction uh, can be used for system where a complete file uh, is needed to be operated by an instruction so this is the situation like when we say word so only in one register the changes can happen it is also possible to change only single one bit as well but here anything which is related to the data file operation so this means that the whole file can be manipulated with one instruction so data manipulation instruction are the output instruction which allow which allow the movement manipulation and storage of the data so one of them is the this tab uh, has the like we can use it this is the move and logical tab over where like move instruction mask masked move and and instruction or instruction exclusive or instruction not instruction and clear instruction so you have studied these instructions already in different courses so I will go through them very quickly but later on in the uh, next lecture uh, slide we will discuss all of them in detail and we will be doing some examples for uh, this particular tab so these are the instruction description you can read them and if 
here on this slide you see like move instruction masked move in mass move like uh, the source data location to the selected destination but some of the data is transferred and the rest of the data is not transferred uh, and instruction is there or so these instructions you already know them these instruction already you know them so here we have the another tab and this is the compare tab in which we have the uh, limit limit test so this this is the limit test the test whether one value is within the limit range of the other value this we will be discussing and the second one is the uh, masked comparison or equal so in this like uh, part of the data is compared with the data in the destination so we will be discussing this later on so in the same one we have the equal like if the data is equal so it will be giving us like in source a it is equal to the source b so if it is true so the logic will be high one and otherwise it will be zero similarly we have not equal so if the data is not equal the logic will be true otherwise it will be false then we have less than like now if the data in a is less than the data in source b then it will be true otherwise it will be false Again, we have the this we have already discussed like equal, not equal, less than, greater than, and equal. So these are the things you know them. And this is another tab which we will discuss later on. So the detail of each of these instructions we will be studying in the a third lecture of the series so this was just an introduction to the series of the lecture lectures on chapter number 10 uh, once again i will say to you people listen to these lectures carefully uh, you have the book activity book and the lab book is with you so i think it will be very straightforward to digest the material in the course even then if you have some difficulties you can send me questions on Moodle and comments and I will come back to you with answers as soon as possible. Once again, thank you very much and wish you good luck.